Angela and Rolf Hazelhurst have a nine-year-old son with autism. The couple says William developed autism from vaccines, including one against measles, mumps, and rubella. Another couple, Teresa and Michael Sedillo, made a similar claim. But recently, a special court in Washington ruled that the evidence did not prove the alleged link between vaccines and autism. This is a setback, but it doesn't mean we're going to stop fighting for that little boy. Autism is a complex brain disorder that impedes a person's ability to communicate or interact with others. About one of every 150 children in the U.S. have been diagnosed with the condition. About 5,000 families say their children developed autism from vaccinations. They are seeking compensation through a government program. Dr. Bill Schaffner of Vanderbilt University says the court's decision should reassure parents about the vaccine against measles, mumps, and rubella. The families will have to digest this ruling, of course, and some will be persuaded by the logic of the judges; others, perhaps not. Some of the plaintiffs have filed claims about other vaccines and ingredients in them. Barbara Low Fisher heads a consumer group that says more research is needed. She says each claim should be considered on its own merits. You will find some people will get a vaccination and have no problem; others will die. Or have severe health problems that lead to chronic disability、uh, and illness. Fear of a link between vaccines and autism has led many American parents not to vaccinate their children against diseases like measles. More than a hundred cases of measles were reported in the U.S. in the first half of 2008. In almost all the cases, the victims had not been vaccinated. Dr. Peter Hotez of George Washington University says vaccines save lives. Let's remember what we're using these vaccines for. We're using them to prevent measles. We're using them to prevent polio. We're using them to prevent、uh, pertussis, otherwise known as whooping cough. We're using them to prevent prevent tetanus. These are the leading childhood killers in the world. U.S. government scientists hope studies that show vaccines do not lead to autism will persuade more parents to vaccinate their children. Michael Lippin, VOA News.